Warning. This is a safe place for intellectual conversation regarding the Fizz Feed. Negativity may be deliciously repackaged and promptly returned to sender. Only good vibes allowed beyond this point. Fizz Feed conversation. Now our big story in nine, a severed arm washes ashore on a beach in Illinois and the family of a Milwaukee woman killed say they believe it belonged to her. Fox 6's Bria Jones joins us here in studio to share how the family of Sade Robinson says the connection is being made. Well, Ben, Steph, we just learned minutes ago from the Lake County Court in his office that arm is believed to belong to a female. Now, overwhelming is how Shawnee Robinson's mother is describing all of these new developments. She says that the Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office notified her days ago about this discovery, and now they are awaiting DNA results. As detectives work to unravel Shawnee Robinson's tragic slaying in Milwaukee County, a new body part is being linked to the investigation. It's excruciating. Authorities in Illinois tell Fox 6 a severed human arm was discovered at Waukegan Municipal Beach on Saturday. While the arm is not confirmed to be Robinson's, officials say it may be related to a case in Wisconsin. Robinson's family says they were contacted by the Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office as DNA results pinned. The family is still struggling quite a bit and really, really needs prayers at this time. Dr. Erica Brown is a friend of Robinson's mother. And unfortunately, that was something that my friend found out on Mother's Day. Prosecutors say Robinson was found dead and dismembered following a first date with her accused killer, 33-year-old Maxwell Anderson. She was last seen alive April 1st. Since then, body parts all believed to be hers have been found scattered across Milwaukee County. News of this latest discovery in Illinois. State of Wisconsin versus Maxwell Anderson. Coming as Anderson makes another court appearance. A judge granting his defense attorney more time to review evidence handed over by the prosecution. Candidly, we can't figure out a, a strategy until we've gone through everything. A slow turn to the will of justice as the search continues for all of Robinson's remains. The family's still actively searching just wanting closure and wanting this to be able to move forward. Anderson's next court date is set for July 12th. Robinson's family members say they will now be focusing their search tomorrow at beaches in Racine County. Steph? Bria, thanks for that. Meanwhile, MATC will honor Robinson at their commencement Sunday. She had completed her degree in criminal justice. Her family plans to receive the diploma and walk across the stage in her honor this weekend. Facebook conversations.